the deity of Raghunath's meditation is playing inside and outside of him. With love, Tulsi sits down before Swamini, holds her chin with her left hand, and begins to make fragrant red spots around her tilak with full concentration. Wow. How deeply she concentrates can be seen on her eyes, her face, and her hands. <clears throat> The practicing devotee should mentally sit next to her to learn such expertise from her. The Goswamis are the gurus of the Yugala Seva and the greatest aspiration of the Gaudiya Vaishnava is to follow in their footsteps. Priya Sahachari Sange Sevana Kori Borange Angevesha Kori Beka Sadhe Rakhoe Seva Koje Nijapada Pankaje Priya Sahachari Gana Maje I will blissfully serve with the Priya Sakis dressing their limbs nicely. Keep me at your lotus feet for this devotional service amidst, in the middle of your beloved girlfriends. Sugandhi Chandana Manimaya Abharana Koshika Vasana Nana Range E sab seva yara, dasi ye no ho tara, anukshana toki tore sange. I always stay with the sakis as if I am their maid servant, playfully serving the divine couple in different ways with fragrant sandalwood pulp jeweled ornaments and silken garments. Full surrender to the Sakis will take the one-pointed devotee along to the kingdom of love and bless him with the gift of their company and the association of the Yugala Kishore. Purdevi Avase Pujana Sakhi Jana, full surrender to the Sakis, will take the one pointed devotee along to the kingdom of love and bless him with the gift of their company. Pujan Sakhi Jana means all the associates who is on the way of. Service of Swami. They are Sakis. They all are Sakis. They are all senior to me to worship them. Not only Laita Vishakta, everyone is Saki who is on the start in this way, all to worship. They are my teachers. And uh, I have to learn pool and worship. I want to learn from them. Then I can give myself out to many Vedas. In this song, this is two line is important. Why Prabhupada like this? Pujan Sakyan Atmani Vedana.
Atman is the Kimasas. That is not worshipping. Radha Krishna not need, they not need worship. This worship need to the associate of them who is serving to them. Their worship is important, their respect is important. Because their mercy, I will realize something in my life. <laughs> they will pray for me. They will give me mercy. Because they are mercy. They are Raghadasi, they are always in the heart, they have mercy. They know so, but they all have the mercy. They are blessed, they are Full surrender to the Sakis will take the one-pointed devotee along to the kingdom of love and bless him with the gift of their company and the association of the Yugala Kishore. So I was just feeling maybe Jananda Ji Muranga you could also help here that here we hearing that full surrender is one thing but it has to be a one-pointed consciousness then they will take along and bless us with the gift of their company so earth com first comes the association with them and then they will give us the permission to associate with the yuga like sure and I don't know, I find it very intriguing, this process, maybe. Janandaji, please. I miss to hear your voice. No, I actually, I want to hear from you and all of you. So, in... I don't know so much, but uh, in the bhakti, in sharanagati, it's important. Especially here said, sharanagati, surrender to sakis. Because sakis, all sakis helping to, to some way, to uh, meet Radha and Mohan, or enchanting Radha Mohan's pastime. So, if we want, so many different devotees surrender to different devotees and different with Rasa. So, we know five kinds of rasa and uh, we know Shiringara rasa is very sweet, sweet. And Goranga Mahaprabhu, especially Goranga Mahaprabhu, recommend to surrender to the Saki, especially someone who is very close with Shurimati Radhika, especially this Babo Urasa Rasa. So where we want to go, it depend on, depend on which Rasa we, we want to surrender, or which, uh, which, which Rasa we want to be one-pointed. And uh, because one point is very important. Otherwise, even material life, if we don't have one pointness, 
we cannot attain the goal. So how to speak spiritual life? Especially Mahaprabhu was, Mahaprabhu is recommend to surrender to this Saki, especially Rupa, Rupa Manjari. Because if we want to attain Radhika's intimate service, we need to surrender someone who is very intimate with Radhika. That is Rupa Manjari and Rupa and all Gaudiya Vaishnava is respect to Rupa Manjari and try to surrender Rupa Manjari. Our Guru Manjari also the Dasi of Rupa Rupa and Raghunath, Rupa and Rati, Tulasi Manjari. So this is uh, Pavupada also uh, suggesting. This is actually very deep meaning. I wish to hear Gorang Sundara and also Guru Gurudev and Radha Kripakataksha also. Very, very, <laughs> they are very classic. Thank you, Maharaj. It's very interesting, actually, what Baba is saying here. Who will surrender to Sakis? We'll take sí, one estoy point. Escuchando y tengo una pregunta. Please, Mataji, can you mute your mic? Okay. Yeah. So it's at full surrender to Sakis. We'll take one pointed devotee will take one-pointed devotee. It means the devotee first has to be one-pointed. He has to decide what he really wants. Like Jananda Maharaj said, even in material life, we have to have a goal. And then we, if we have a goal, then we will take a shelter, a guidance of those persons who can help us to attain that goal. <clears throat> Same principle <clears throat> is in material life, but also we can see here that our acharyas are teaching us how to practice spiritual life. One point of devotee is surrendering to the sakis because he already decided what he wants, which kind of bhava he wants, which kind of goal he wants to attain. And from this song of Narutam Dastakur is very clear that he wants to attain Yuga Lakishore and be, because of that, he wants to be constantly in association of Priya Sakis, of different Sakis, and by their mercy, he can be transferred in a kingdom of love by their mercy. And this is the great gift of their company. Because this great gift, this great Kripa brings them to the association of Yuga Lakishur. So one pointness, one mellow is very important to define, but not only on mental platform, intellectual, like a theory, information, but deeply to feel in the heart, I really want this bhav, Manjari bhav. And then I'm taking the shelter 
and surrender to the Sakis, like Gurudev said, different kind of Sakis. Primary to Manjaris, but also to everyone who can help me to attain this desirable goal. Because this one point in this is very connected with surrendering. If we if I am not one pointed to attain a goal, I will not I don't have any reason to take a shelter of someone. Because for example, student who wants to become doctor, he already is one pointed in his desire. I want to become doctor. So what I'm doing? I'm taking the shelter of those persons, professors, and so on and so on, who can help me, who can teach me, who can guide me, how I can attain my goal. But if I just, if I'm just on a, a medical university, but I don't have a goal to become a doctor. Natural re reaction of such person is, I don't care so much for these professors. I don't need for their instruct. I don't need their instructions, and I don't care for their their instructions. Maybe fifty percent, thirty percent, but I'm not so concentrated. I'm not so fixed in their guidance. So essential point is to define what I really want. So this is bhakti. And then I am following those who are already on that goal. And Baba is saying here that practicing devotees should mentally sit next to her, to Tulsi and to learn such expertise. Practicing devotee, Neophyte, who didn't attain Siddhi still, in his meditation, in his Farooq, has to sit be beside Tulsi, beside Guru Manjari, Tulsi, and just observe expertise in Seva. This is how I understand. This is how I'm trying to practice, although it's useless. Practicing, I will repeat, practicing devotees should mentally sit with his mind, absorbed in his svarup as much as possible. It means that this kind of devotee is already one pointed because he is taking shelter of Tulsi, of this Radhika's maidservant, Saki, and surrender to her guidance. But, uh, but if I'm not clear that I want to become Radharani's maidservant, automatically, very spontaneously, I will not surrender to her maidservants. Maybe 10%, 20%. But it's not enough. And by their mercy then, with my absorption in their activity, in their feelings, in their way of feeling and thinking and serving, slowly I receive this, their gift. Because they want to give this gift to candidate who is ready to accept this gift. And this is the greatest gift for surrendering devotee. They are giving their prema, their love, pure love, pure love, which brings then sadaka to Yugala, as close association to Yugala, sure. So first is close association with 
Yugalas Radha Mohan's close associates, and then slowly following them, following their mood, they will bring person to Yugala Kishore like an ultimate goal. This is what I wanted to say. I see it in this sentence. I wanted to ask a question. Isn't there an important difference in bhakti between to want and to surrender? To want, we want with the ego. Our ego fixes on something we want and then we go for it, like becoming a doctor in our studies. But to surrender is to let go of the ego, to drop the ego. To, to turn away from the ego. And this is why I, I was so inspired by the very last thing you said there. Surrendering means accepting a gift. So in this verse from Bhaktivinoda uh, Thakur, when says surrender to the sakis, that means to accept an invitation that's already been given. We don't have to want it, it's already proposed, it's already, we're already invited to become, to join the sakis, to join Radharam. It's only a matter of getting, throwing our ego out of the way so we can let our heart go there. No, it's not an act of will or ego. For, um, I mean to this to be a question to you. Do you understand and do you, you see what I mean? Yeah, it's a little bit mixed mixture of question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because when we are talking about materialistic examples, actually, we always have to be aware that they are limited. And with our own spiritual consciousness, we have to look on a spiritual then examples. But in the same time, when someone wants to become a doctor, yes, he is surrendering to the professor from his materialistic bodily ego. But the same principle is that sadaka neophyte, we are talking about neophyte, not someone who attains Siddhi, who is just Shishya, his disciple, he is learning from superiors how to attain, attain his desirable goal. And Baba is clearly said, we should sit, we, in mentally conceive the body, close to Tulsi and be absorbed in her activities, feelings, and re interaction with Swami. And in this example, there is no whiff of materialistic or gunas or materialistic influence. Because if I sit, I, Goranga, Klaus, Peter, or whatever, is sitting beside the professor of some kind of medicine, I will receive benefit for this body. But meditation from spiritual identity on a spiritual personality Transcendental, who is eternal, is not touched by gunas, is completely another thing. Because in that way, my spiritual identity is being touched with transcendence. 
like a Klaus, like a Peter. I am touched with the gunas of my professor. But like a Manjari, I am touched with Vishuddha Sattva and Rasa Darshan. And this is completely, completely another thing. But when we are using materialistic example, we want to say how much important is that jiva has to be one-pointed. And one-pointed means surrendering. It's not separate. Because Tulasi is completely surrendered to Rupa Manjari. And, he is, and she is praying to Rupa Manjari. And she is confirming because Rupa Manjari enlightened my heart. In my heart appears desire to serve Srimati Radhika. So this is personalism. Bhakti is not impersonal. This is a personalism. Narottam wants to be surrounding <laughs> with all these beautiful manjaris and even sakis. And this means surrendering, but out of love, not because of my ambition. Klaus, Goranga Sundara, who wants to become a doctor, has ambition to become someone in this material world. And I'm forced to take a shelter or surrender and guidance and so on. But Manjari, Manjari doesn't have this kind of ambition. Although, maybe it could look like this, because I have desire. But where I put my, uh, direct my desire in a transcendent loving personality, not on developing my ego and to someone who can help me to de develop my ego. Manjaris are always surrendering. Every second they are surrendering <clears throat> to Radhika and to each other. But this is love exchange. It's not torture. Mm -hmm. Krishna is surrendering. To whom? To Manjaris. Krishna is surrendering. Sharanagati completely. He is putting himself to be guided how to serve Radhika better. If Krishna is surrendering, then what to speak about Manjaris, who are surrendering also to each other, who are surrendering to all their gopis, all Rajavas. So surrendering out because the aim is ambition is materialistic example, but surrendering to attain loving devotion is surrendering out of pure, selfish, unmotivated love. That's it. I want. So can I say a little bit? <clears throat> I think surrendering means surrendering ego, false ego, and then sitting near with with our Ishta Devi or, or sitting with Rupa Manjari means getting that feeling, accepting feeling and accepting her blessing. So material field we are not surrendering false ego. We are, we have tendency to male 
male consciousness. We want to pre、uh, predominate it. I want to control. I want to be ambitious to be top, become doctor or become top or become controller. But this, this, our philosophy is, especially Raga Bhakti is getting feeling. What kind of feeling is save us? How to serve? How to please our Ishta Devi? So, therefore, completely no false ego. And if someone who has no false ego and sitting near with our Ishta Devi or Rupa Manjari or Guru Manjari, that person can get blessing, can get this feeling. That's, that's I'm feeling, Rade Rade. Uh, I, sorry, sorry. I, just,、um, I was、uh, thinking of this question of where、uh, we want this from the ego, and it just came to my heart that when we are on spiritual path, even that longing, that sacred greed, which we say like that want, it's also a gift.、Mm. I don't have it. You know, what? No, I mean, I could never cultivate it myself. It's、right. given to me as a gift of mercy.、Yeah. And the more we surrender, the more that gift of greed is given to us.、Mm. So it's like a hand in hand process.、Mm. So the more we surrender, the more that want comes, the more that one pointedness comes. And it flows like that.、Mm. So it's like not in opposition, I feel it's. Both are gifts, both the surrender and the want is a gift of grace from the Guru.、Mm -hmm. so、But then our job is to not go in the false ego and try to control our.、Mm -hmm. we, we are not to create blockages and to be one pointed on the spiritual in that, to divert ourselves. We have to not divert because then we cannot surrender more and receive more longing. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank you, sorry. <laughs> For Angaji, continue a little bit more, or what, what is the feeling? You can finish this、uh, paragraph. Okay. Because、maybe. it's a complete picture.、Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Shri Narottam Das Thakur sings Raja Pura Vanitara Charana Ashraya Sara Goromana Ekanta Goria. Fix your mind on the girls of Braj and take shelter of their lotus feet. In Sadak Vesh, the devotees also anxiously pray at the Sakhi's lotus feet in their Sadak Arupa as the Goswamis. Kahamora Swarupa Rupa. Kaha Mora Swarup Rupa Kaha Sanatan Kaha Dasa Ragunata Patita Pavan. Forgot the melody, sorry.、Uh, where are my Swarup Damodar? And where are my Rupa and Sanatan? Where is Ragunata Skuswami, the savior of the form? These anxious prayers. Will cause their mercy 
to descend in the form of the full relish of the sweetness of the Yuga Lucky Shore. These anxious prayers will cause their mercy to descend in the form of the full relish of the sweetness of the Yugala Kishun. O oh Devi, can I with steady hand make red fragrant spots all around your tilak that is the best enchanting herb for more. Thank you, Gopinath. We are reading. Gopika for sharing. Of course, Gurudev. What to say? We need your Kripa. On all levels of our life. Thank you, Jayanandaji. And Udavaji also.